All right, so tell me about this experience last night of this opening night of the Monaco Festival. How was it? It was so lovely. We, um, my, I brought my husband and my child here with me. So we've been here vacationing in Nice, um, up and down the coast, going to different beaches. So we got, we got to dress up and, and have a babysitter last night, first of all. And it was beautiful. It's, it's, um, it's nice to be back. I came like five years ago. And um, it's just grand, and the, the scale of things is beautiful. You've been working on your show for some time now. Mm -hmm. What is it that keeps you involved, interested? Well, first of all, it's a great place to work. It's a great place to work. You know, I, it's such a family, and um, and and there's different there's different stories to tell every week. You know, as an actor, you do a film, you know, and it's over in three months, and maybe you weren't happy with a day of your performance. You don't get to change any of it. Like it's 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 done. With a TV show like this one, you get to come in every day. If you mess up a little one day, you can make up for it, you know, and, and add to your character and create different dimensions. And if you get an idea of a storyline, you get to play it all out. And it's all, um, it's all very collaborative. At the very, very beginning of your career, you started in a soap opera. Mm -hmm. uh, what did you learn from that experience that you use in your work today? It's hard, it's hard work. Mm -hmm. A soap opera is such hard work. There's so much dialogue um, because you do uh, eight episodes a week, something like that. Now we do one episode every eight days, so it's completely different. Um, it's just work ethic, that's what I learned. And what's the ambiance like when you're shooting off the set? Do you all, does the cast hang out together? Do you watch the show together? Is there anything yeah, like that? We, we're, we're super close, yeah. Um, I, I think Ice-T is one of my favorite people I've ever met in my life. Um, and him, him and uh, his wife and I were pregnant at the same time, so we got to, you know, just come to work. She usually comes to work with him and of course I hang out with Mariska and her kids and she knows my kids and we're all very supportive of each other. It's, 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 that's, why, that's what makes it a great place to work. You had such a great experience, a working mom experience, and that you were able to incorporate your pregnancy and your baby into the show. Very lucky, very lucky. I know there was one day, it was a Wednesday or a Monday, and I, you know, the character of Amanda Rollins goes and there's something wrong, right? And so I had to do this very traumatic scene where I'm pregnant this big, and, um, and I have to act like something is going horribly wrong. I went home and had false labor that night. And I was like, wait, 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 it's not time, it's not time. I was just acting, <laughs> you know? But it was so great because I, I got to be big and fat, you know, and work. It was awesome. You did have some crossovers with the Chicago shows a few years back. Plans for that again? I would love to do more crossovers with the Chicago folks. I, I think they have a lot of fun out there. Just maybe not in February. I'll take like October or April in yeah. Chicago. Why do you think the whole Law & Order thing has been so successful for so long? What is it? You know, it's a format people are comfortable with. Um, it's especially our show, you know, it's really, it's about topics that are really, really difficult to talk about. And, and at the end of every hour, usually the bad guy is gotten, you know, and, and that, that's got to feel good. What would you say is your secret to keeping yourself grounded with all the celebrity and the success of the show around the world? Well, my husband helps with that. <laughs> um, and I'm from Georgia, you know, I know, I know where I came from. It's, and I didn't get into acting to be to be in Monaco and you know and and be be treated so well you know I got in it because I'm very I you know it's it's a great um, vocation if you're curious and and like to play and, and have an imagination and you know be like a kid then I get to I get to play cops and robbers and I get paid for it you know perfect thank you very yeah, much thank you great all right.